Hi guys, it is a beautiful full moonlit Friday night here in the end times at Paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And I am thrilled to say I am getting ready to spend my first night in the brand new, better, tiny house up on the hill. Yes, Rascal, are you coming to? This is Rascal coming to join us again. I don't know if Rascal is looking at the camera or at Sancho. Yes, are you coming to join us on this ramp? But I can't go up the hill without one more comment uh, about the death of, uh, I guess, uh, Caitlin. Oh, it is September 9th, 2022. After read well, one more comment and uh, several comments about the death of uh, whatever that old bat's name was. I'm already forgetting. In the ascension to the throne of King Charles. So I guess I've stirred, I've gotten some doomer chick bitches, some lunatic, clueless fucking moron bitch calling herself a doomer chick's panties in a wad. We will get to wadded up doomer chick panties in a minute. Uh, but I specifically requested that Andy the Gardener uh, answer my question and many Americans' questions about what the fuck does the royal family do for residents of Zombie Island? What possible good does Zombie Island get out of uh, the queen, the king, the prince, the princess, whatever? And... Uh, Specifically asking where, as far as these reporters can figure out, the royal family has, you know, minimally on the surface, built the British taxpayers out of $28 billion. So anyway, we're going to get Andy the Gardener to try to explain to us what the fuck the Queen of England, or now the King of England, is doing for Zombie Island. Take it away, Andy. <clears throat> How dare you besmirch the memory of our dearly departed Queenie? Thanks, Hambone. Means I don't have to. The establishment is now calling her Elizabeth the Great. When you don't rock the boat, of one of the most aggressive industrial cancers for about 100 years, or say anything intellectual, controversial, or po political. You wear nice frocks, smile, and wave at the right moments, do as you are told, that's the most important one, do as you're told, you know, begs the question, who tells the king and queen of England what the fuck to do? This is the question, who does King Charles take his orders from? Uh, all sorts of answers to that question that I'm sure Andy the Gardener can help answer. Okay. Do as you are told. Act regal, whatever that means. Don't go mad. Don't decide to marry an American woman. Pop out a suitable successor or four, and you bring in lots and lots of tourist money, which is, we will get back to the lots and lots of tourist money that the royal family brings in, or specifically 
Queen Elizabeth brought in that lots and lots of tourist money. It meaning, I, when he says it, I guess he means one of the most aggressive industrial cancers, otherwise known as Zombie Island. It calls you, calls you great. As to the purpose of a queen, don't ask me. I always wondered that myself. Why have a monarch when a parliament can balls thing up, balls things up just as effectively? Someone to lay the colony's eggs, I guess. Oops, my mistake. That's the bees. But seriously, the reason is simple. The royal family or some sort of real life fairy tale magical people that live in freaking palaces and castles and can do whatever the fuck they like. Duh! What's not to like? Not providing much insight, am I? <laughs> well, Andy, I guess the uh, insight you provided, it is pretty much confirmed uh, what uh, I have always thought about the royal family. I, I admit I have spent probably in 63 years of my life, if I have spent 20 minutes, 20 minutes uh, trying, you know, giving a flying fuck about Queen Elizabeth or any of the rest of those fuckers. Uh, I would be surprised. And that will come back here in a comment in a minute. But before we get to this clueless Doomer bitch, well, calling herself a Doomer chick, we're going to look at a few other... Now, I, the problem is, you know, Andy the Gardener, I know... Yes? What do you think of the death of the Queen? Are you upset? Are you depressed, rascal, about the death of the queen? So, yes. So anyway, I don't know which ones of these people are actually from England. Uh, let's look at a couple of uh, whoever. All right, Alex Jackson. I have no idea if Alex is from England or not. Uh, the only factual title on YouTube about the death of the bitch of England. What was the title of my video? Millions of clueless morons mourn the death of privileged planet-eating old bag, I guess. I can't, I don't know the, I uh, don't know the... Uh, title of my own video, Million, Millions of Clueless Morons Mourn the Death of a Privileged Planet-Eating Old Bag War Criminal. Okay, so... Uh, so that one... So, Alright, so Vegematic. Now, Veg, of course, lives in Canada. I don't know what connection Canada still has to the Queen. I was, I've never been clear what the connection was between Canada and, and that old bag. Veg says, Hallelujah! I am sick to death of hearing about the damn royal parasites. When I lived in Quebec, a lot of the cash had the Queen's picture attacked with magic markers. Yes. Uh, so Z3RO, I think he lives in England on the streets in the ghetto where I live. Nothing has changed. Yep. Uh... So Nick... I don't know if Nick 002, do you live in England? The royal family is like an appendix. 
you don't need it and it serves no purpose but you're kind of reluctant to open everything up and go ripping it out in case it disturbs something else and the whole load of intestines spills all over the floor. Okay. Mark J., who is decidedly does Mark J. lives in New Mexico. Take it away, Mark J. Your excellent title to this commentary nearly sums it up. Need only to add the word useless. <coughs> Pathetic people <coughs> who never have to do a day's work. I think it was Henry David Thoreau who said that it would be better to be born stillborn than to be born rich. Speaking of the old bags, the hideous new prime minister says that launching a nuclear strike on Russia is not off the table. <coughs> yep, yep, yep. A uh, colony of cells. The royal family still being supported just means collapse has not happened yet. Okay. Uh, Nick weighing in again. We don't like reminding the British Empire was built on slavery, warfare, and racism. We like to think it was due to a stiff upper lip, intelligence, and common decency instead. I think it was all of those things and more. Yep. Uh, okay. But let's hear... From now, our latest former tribes member. Who? What is this? Uh, what is this bitch's name? Uh, M.K. Krupp. Well, I guess either M.K. Uh, ha, huh. I, I don't know whether M.K. Krupp has taken down her own comment or YouTube ripped it down. But anyway, don't worry about it. I still have it. So this was the comment that either M.K. Krupp ripped down herself or YouTube is ripped down and then this was the response to that comment that YouTube never even put up. It got ripped down so quick it never showed. I don't know why MK has decided to uh, but this was what MK Krupp had to say about my video. Why would you necessarily believe Fortune Magazine, I'm thinking it was Fortune Magazine, claiming the royal family has about 28 billion dollars worth of British taxpayers' money squirreled away. Why would you necessarily believe Fortune Magazine? The royal family brings in so much money to the UK via tourism, etc. And Charles, now King Charles, and Charles, as you concede, has always been pro-environment and has bought land in the Amazon and elsewhere around the world to protect natural wild areas. He and both his sons are active in helping to conserve wildlife populations in Africa and elsewhere. You are an absolute ignoramus when it comes to the royal family. Well, 
uh, again, I am a proud, non-repentant, absolute ignoramus when it comes to the royal family. I know nothing about the fucking royal family. I don't give a fuck about the royal family. The royal family, as I say, if it has been worth 15 minutes of my attention in the past 63 years, so I will give M.K. Krupp that one. What do you think about the royal family? Sorry. Uh, are you an absolute ignoramus about the royal family? or Anyway. You are an absolute ignoramus when it comes to the royal family. All the work they do on a daily basis for local communities. The amazing work done by the Prince's Trust, etc. Your comments betray your lack of knowledge and reading, and you should stick to what you know. I simply cannot follow your ranting on this channel anymore, you fucking arrogant, rude, crazy bag of sick. Mm. So, YouTube left up her comment, you know, this is all in capital letters with exclamation points, so YouTube leaves up for about two hours you fucking arrogant, rude, crazy bag of sick. I can just imagine you in a few years venting and ranting away in some nursing home as your dementia accelerates. So it is goodbye from me. A doomer chick, by the way, and former donor. My response to uh, M.K. Krupp. <clears throat> you will be sorely missed, you royal family ass-licking toady. Thank you for lessening my attachment to doomer chicks. You are a doomer chick, like Sancho Panza is a Great Dane. If you believe one word of the unadulterated horseshit you just babbled out of your ass. Go back to licking King Charles's balls now. Don't let the screen door hit you on your guilty ass on your way out, bitch. Obviously, that comment never even made uh, print for two minutes, but... Uh, Speaking of that, I did like Caitlin Johnstone's, you know, of course, her, uh, what was her rant? Uh, her rant was titled, Caitlin Johnstone's Rant, Having a Queen Was Stupid, Having a King Is Too Stupid. And uh, so... Just a couple of quotes from Caitlin's column today. For Americans who are having a hard time understanding what their friends across the pond are going through, imagine if Chicken McNuggets died. Yes. <clears throat> British media are even more servile and psychophatic than American or Australian media which is truly an impressive feat. And then sending this one out to M.K. Krupp. It is so crazy how many people I'm seeing getting outraged at criticisms of the Queen. Imagine being such a boot-licking cuck that you spend your time running around the Internet yelling at people who say disparaging things about a dead imperialist asshole. <laughs> yep. But, uh... Yes, little cat? What do you think? Are you, uh, saying disparaging things about a dead imperialist asshole? Or not? 
It's weird, you know, and, and when I see the word asshole being applied to a woman, I, you know, I, I just, I use the, when I use the term asshole, it's kind of like the male version of bitch. So, I guess Caitlin being a female doesn't use the word bitch. So, was Queen Elizabeth an imperialist asshole? Uh, my guess is she probably was. Never knew the lady. I'm not sure I would recognize a picture of Queen Elizabeth. I remember being at a at this English pub in Atlanta when I was in grad school in grad school in journalism and I and I went to this English pub in Atlanta and, and uh, over the bar was a picture of Queen Elizabeth this was in 1983 there was a picture of Queen Elizabeth and the looked kind of like an older version of the uh, of the you know the barmaid you know she was from England and so I'm looking at the picture and I asked the uh, the barmaid is that a picture of your mother and uh, I made her night asking if the if a picture of the Queen of England was her mother uh, which really illustrates uh, you know uh, <laughs> when, a, when a graduate student of journalism has no fucking clue uh, what the hell uh, the Queen of England looks like. I, I mean, who gives a fuck? I mean, I think she was kind of an ugly bitch, uh, you know, even back when she was young. Wasn't she? I mean, wasn't she always just kind of a dog? Uh... Who was her husband anyway? Was he the king of England? Was her husband Philip, the guy who uh, said he wanted to come back to Earth as a virus, <laughs> basically to wipe out humanity? I was, uh, I can't remember, Prince Philip, if that was... Uh, Lizzie's husband or not. I did like, I did kind of like that old man uh, wanting to come back as a virus to wipe out humanity. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. So it looks like we have lost, I notice I have lost seven subscribers in the past few days on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I guess we can, uh, I'll send out a Let's all send out a toast to M.K. Krupp. And this is uh, Sancho saying goodbye and good riddance to M.K. Krupp and all of the uh, royal family ass-licking toadies. Here's something for you to lick. We're off to our brand new better tiny house. Bye, guys. Yeah, this little dog. When you say, Bob, that's the second time you've talked about the Queen of England today. I've, you've never mentioned the Queen of England since uh, you and I met seven years ago. And now you've talked about her twice in a day. Goodbye, yell bag. That, oh, yeah, I guess the comment. Who is the comment? I see YouTube has taken that down, too. Fuck the queen. <laughs> Has disappeared from YouTube too. Imagine that. Oh my gosh.